Hello guys. Today our topic about horn. The concern the horn is not working. The horn component is new and the relay, the relay is new but still not working. So our topic for today how to diagnose. We are using Chevrolet 2008, a BU, Barina, and Wave circuit diagram. Okay, now this is your entire horn circuit diagram. This is entire horn circuit diagram. Okay, step one. We need tools, test lamp, and multimeter. Step number two. We are now proceed to diagnose. Okay? This is the 10 ampere fuse of your horn. Where can find this 10 ampere fuse? Okay? Open the driver door and you can find the fuse instrument panel side, left side, near at the steering wheel. Okay? If you remove the fuse cover, you can find number 18 fuse 10 amperes for the horn. Okay. Use at this lamp. Check this and this probe if this lamp illuminate so you have no problem from the pios. Next, step number two. Now we are step number two. This is the relay of your horn. Where can find the relay? The relay location still inside the left side instrument panel near in the steering wheel. You can find the relay horn. Okay. Use again test lamp. Ignition off. Test probe between 85 and 30. But before that, you disconnect the POS. Sorry, you can you can disconnect the relay, and you can find the female connector and on the POS back. You have female pins there. So this probe thirty and eighty five. If the test lamp illuminate means you have no problem on this between this 10 amperes fuse and the relay female pins so if this 30 and 85 is okay proceed to another pin this is again 86 at your fuse block female pins or connector there at the fuse box. Use a multimeter. Sit your multimeter at continuity. Okay. Before that, Remove the steering wheel or the steering column cover. Look number three connector, pin number three. Sorry, uh, not connector. Look the connector of the airbag, airbag coil in the steering column area. You can find number three, number three fin. So what should we, uh, we do? This probe. Pin number three to 
pin 86 on your relay female fence. If you have continuity, so you have no problem on your trigger circuit. This is the trigger signal. This is the signal or trigger for your relay to to connect. Okay? So this pull down relay, this can engage. Uh, okay? If you have good, good resistance or good continuity, proceed again this ground to pin 3 pin 3 and ground if good continuity good resistance so you have no problem for example if you test pin number 3 and pin of your relay 86 for example your uh, result is open or high resistance or no continuity so open your fuse block connector down we have connector number one and fin 39 check that pins may be corroded or pins back out or burned Okay, so again, if your circuit from here to here is good, so you have no problem. You can proceed another circuit. Okay, now look at my ball pin. Huh? This is 86. Ah, sorry, sorry, this is 87. 87. And horn. This is your horn component. This is your horn component. Okay. This is pin number two. And it is even. This is it is seven, huh? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is here. This is it is seven. Use again. Multimeter. Check the continuity. If the continuity good, so means you have no problem on your circuit. For example, you get open or OL or no continuity. Look at this. C208. This is the connector. To C208. This is the connector. Where we can find this connector? This connector you can find on the near on the TCM transmission control module. They have connector there white. Okay. That connector, they have pin 11 and 14. This 11 for left hand drive. This 14 for right hand drive. Now, if your reading is OL between these two and this 87, you check this connector pins corroded or back out okay so thank you for today i hope you understand my english and please subscribe my channel and like thank you very much see you again for the next uh diagnosis i will make for next uh, my video thank you very much bye bye